there, my name is Caitlin Maharg. Welcome to my channel. My channel is all about talking about my experience dealing with narcissists, people with narcissistic personality disorder, people with antisocial personality disorder. I dated two narcissists and one was a narcissist slash sociopath. Since then my my perspective of some songs has changed and there's you know there are songs that stick out to me um as a result of being in a narcissistic abusive relationship and one of the songs the song i'm doing today it's called better man it's from little big town taylor swift actually wrote the song and then little big town sings it and i think it's very relatable to anyone who has ever dated a narcissist so verse one let's start I know I'm probably better off on my own than loving a man who didn't know what he had when he had it. Um, so yeah, that, I mean, that's, that's logical, you know, you, when you're with a narcissist and when I was with this, these men, I, I dated two narcissists. One was, um, an unaware narcissist. The one was, and the other one was aware that he was a narcissist because he was also a sociopath as well. So he was a malignant narcissist. So you have this battle going through you. Like, you know you shouldn't be dealing with um, some of the shit they put you through. You know you shouldn't be given the silent treatment. That you shouldn't be ignored. That you shouldn't be talked to in a certain way. Obviously, because that just shows that someone's doesn't respect you but you you have this back and forth conflict when you're with a person like this because they're not always bad all the time and there are some great moments with them and it, and you know it, it ends up being more bad moments than good moments but yeah you you kind of live for those good moments um until you you know rediscover yourself again so I know I'm probably better off on my own than loving a man who didn't know what he had when he had it. And I see the permanent damage you did to me. Never again. I just wish I could forget when it was magic. Being with these men has changed me forever. Um, I'm good now. Like, um, I mean... I'm, I'm good. Like, I'm in a great place now. And... But... I, I do think about those times and like the way I felt when they had discarded me and when I was with them and um, God, I was in a dark, I was in a dark place like and I didn't know how to get out of this dark place. It was a very vicious cycle and it lasted a long time. This experience changed my life uh, forever and it did permanent damage to me and I might not feel it all the time now but every now and then I get a trigger for sure I'll think of something and I'll just my heart will start beating and um, I'll, yeah and I'll get anxious so it's still a part of me for sure um, and yeah it'll never happen again I'll never go through this again but yeah she says I just wish I could forget when it was magic. Yeah, you, you think of the good times. How, how do you, and it's hard to know how to think of the good times after you've gone through that, because you find out like that was even sort of manipulation. It's, this, uh, this is something I've been trying to like gauge, and I'm not pressuring it. I know like it's all a process like healing, but yeah, like, where do those memories go? I guess now it's just like, yeah, I'm sort of a little indifferent about it, but I also can just, you know, see it as a good memory without getting invested and, um, yeah, without getting sad about it. Um, so then she says, I wish it wasn't 4 a.m. standing in the mirror saying to myself, you know you had to do it. I know the bravest thing I ever did was run. And yeah, I wish it wasn't 4 a.m. Standing in the mirror. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've stood in the mirror, like, talking to myself, crying, thinking about the memories. Um, it, it plagues you for a while. 
and like yeah my sleep was all over the place I can't tell like I would stay up really late thinking about it in the first and then the moment I wake up I was thinking about it again about the abuse about the hurt about these guys um yeah and it can just hit you like sometimes when you're home by yourself that's when these intense memories come back she yeah she had to do it it's like she's battling herself she has to tell herself remind herself again that she had to do it um and that the bravest thing she ever did was run which is completely true um yeah i mean you gotta run from these people it's an addiction and it's not it, it's not good for you you gotta run and yeah then no contact um and you'll be happier for it in the end and um yeah it is brave like i feel super proud of myself like of where i am now and um that i finally got away and i ran from them many times and was hoovered back in but this time is different and i'm very proud of myself so let's go to the chorus Sometimes in the middle of the night, I can feel you again, but I just miss you and I just wish you were a better man. And I know why we had to say goodbye like the back of my hand and I just miss you and I just wish you were a better man, a better man. So yeah, yeah, in the middle of the night, again, that's when sometimes these memories come back. You know, you're by yourself, you're in your own thoughts. You feel this person again, like, I have videos um, with my narcissist and I look at them, I've looked at them and you know, it, it like it, it, it's like you see the video and it, it was a good memory and um, it just makes you feel that, feel that person. Like you did feel good at, at times with this person for sure, you know, that's why you stayed with them. I mean, you had to say goodbye. They weren't treating you right. They weren't treating the way, you the way that you deserve to be treated. And they were never going to treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. So there's not much else you can do besides leave and do what's best for you. And just believe that something better is going to come for you. Which it will. It will. In time. So yeah, and you know how you ha you know why you had to say goodbye like the back of your hand like you know all the reasons like it is obvious you can't just help you can't help but miss them and just wish that they were a better man like is it that hard to be a better man you'd be like but I it is they have this personality disorder it's it's in them it's ingrained in them it's it's all encompassing. It isn't gonna go anywhere um, but you still you inside you just you think what if what if um they were that person that they were in the beginning stages and what if they were always like that but it's not based in reality I know I'm probably better off all alone than needing a man who could change his mind at any given minute yeah, you. I mean, you're. But you are better off all alone. Why would you don't? I felt like there was no consistency with, um, especially the malignant narcissist. I told him that before. I was like, something you could work on is consistency. Like, doing like, is it that hard to like, be consistent and text consistently, call consistently, hang out consistently? Like everything felt so hard and like yeah it was just whatever he wanted like I could say like oh I want you I want to see you today or I want to see you tomorrow and like but it's on his terms if he wants to see me I could say that I want to see him but it might mean nothing it means nothing to him unless he wants to see me um so yeah and like I was saying this goes into it um more uh, needing a man who could change his mind at any given minute and it's always on your terms I'm hanging on every careless word hoping it might turn sweet again like it was in the beginning again always on the, their terms it's their show and you're just an actor in it I guess <laughs> um, yeah you're just a puppet in their show 
So yeah, and you you hang on to these words that they say they're great with words, and you just I was yeah I would at sometimes I would be like I am I'm done I'm done with this I can't do this anymore like I and I would like be fuming and being like I'm gonna say it's over finally and then I would talk to him and then he would say the sweetest thing and or he would yeah he would say we were gonna do something and and yeah I would hang on to that word on the, onto the words that he said onto those false hopes he gave me and then I would be let down and then it was like it would happen again and again and again I was just always hanging on to the the false hopes and good things that he said even though they rarely ever happened um and yeah like hoping it might turn sweet again like it was in the beginning yeah in the beginning of it they're love bombing you so it is amazing and it was uh, yeah with both guys that was like the highlight of our relationship was this love bombing phase when I was their world when they when they acted like they cared about my needs but your jealousy I can hear it now you're talking down to me like I'll always be around you push my love away like it's some kind of loaded gun yeah um, narcissists are jealous of people um, and yeah, like I remember like with the covert narcissist I dated, like, yeah, I felt like he, he was jealous. Like my accomplishments in life were, he would talk down to them, my friends and family, he would talk down about them. And you know, this is sort of like, yeah, they are isolating you. Like that just, they try to isolate you because they don't want you to, people finding out about the abuse and shit they put you through. They want to own you. I felt like I didn't realize it was jealousy at the time, but yeah, I remember like always feeling nervous to like tell him about things. Like I had gotten a new job and I was working as an audience coordinator on uh, TV shows and I was excited and I when I entered his apartment um, I was just I wanted to tell him but something was making me hesitant and then he went into his room and his brother was out um, standing like in the living room where I was and I just decided to tell his brother first because in the back of my mind I was afraid that if I told him, he was going to somehow diminish, um, diminish the new job I get, you know, um, make it seem like it, it's a crappy job or, you know, talk down about it. And I didn't want that. But then of course, because I told his brother first, then he had a comment to say to me about that, about why I told him, uh, his brother instead of him first. So yeah, they're just, <laughs> and they're always talking down to you again um yeah they think that you you're you're just gonna take it and they never think you're gonna leave and if you do leave before them they're gonna try to get everything to get you back um even though they're totally not worthy of your love um so yeah you push my love away like it's some kind of loaded gun yeah uh boy you never thought i'd run like I couldn't really, with the covert narcissist, I never felt, really felt that close to him because I couldn't talk to him in a, I just, I couldn't open up to him. And I, I towards the end of the relationship, I, he would tell me things like, oh, Caitlin, you're, you're so meek, oh, you're lazy, oh, you're this, or you're that. He would talk about my speaking voice. He was like, you need to add bass to your voice. Uh, everything I did was just critiqued and nothing nothing was ever right and if I tried to have a heart-to-heart -heart with him he would act like I was boring he would do like a snoring noise or be like where are you going with this and then he would interrupt the conversation the thing I was trying to say and redirect it towards him and yeah you would say things about me and I'd be like you say things about me nobody has ever said before like nobody ever says these nasty things that you say about me 
and he'd be like, well, I know you better than um, other people. And I was like, no, you don't know me. You, do, you don't know the real me. Like I, towards the end of the relationship, I was gaining that perspective, like to say that, cause it's like, you, you don't know who I am at all. Like I can't open up to you because yeah, when I open up to you, you act bored. You snore in front of me that you, you're kind of, um, you're silencing me by doing that. Hey, in chorus, sometimes in the middle of the night I can feel you again, but I just miss you and I just wish you were a better man. I know why we had to say goodbye like the back of my hand, and I just miss you and I just wish you were a better man. A better man. And then the bridge, I hold on to this pride because these days it's all I have. And I gave you my best and we both know you can't say that. Um. So yeah, you hold on to pride and you just got to hold on to this anything you can that's like strong within you. You have no identity when they leave. Like when, when you leave them or they leave you, you're going to be trying to find yourself. It's like, yeah, with both of the narcissists, like I was... I felt lost in a fog. I didn't know who I was. I didn't trust anything about me. But there were parts of me, even when I was going through these dark, awful times, that just, I knew, I knew um, I'd get through it eventually. I knew the pain wouldn't last forever. Huh. Uh, and I gave you my best, and we both know you can't say that, and that's for sure. They can't say that they gave you their best um they didn't give you their best um their best is crap you gave them your best for sure yeah you probably you probably it it's the time too in the in uh, with a narcissist time is wasted and it's not just time spent with these people when you're not with them when you're at home you're constantly thinking about them because it's an addiction and they're putting you through the ringer and you're second guessing yourself your life just starts to revolve around these people but you still try you still try but yeah then I mean realizing that they are narcissists and that it's something that can can't really change I mean I guess I understand now um I, yeah that's the that's what I needed to know is that you know they were the they were the ones with the problem it wasn't me um and yeah, you, and then I, this part in the song is really moving because, um, it's sort of like I envision her talking to the narcissist and the music's like not really there anymore. It's kind of silent, the background music, and she's just kind of saying this. She's saying, you can't say that. I wish you were a better man. I wonder what we would have become if you were a better man. We might still be in love if you were a better man. You would have been the one if you were a better man. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but, I mean, this is, like, very moving. Like, I can definitely feel it. Like, I imagined with the malignant, like, I imagined marrying this guy and having kids with this guy. And I saw a life together. I imagined working together with him, being business partners with him. Of course, like, I, I wish... He would have been a better man for sure. Um, but yeah, he's not. And yeah, you do think that you're like, we might still be in love if you were just a better man. Um, you would have been the one if you were just a better man. But nope, I gotta go off on my own and find someone worthy. Again, chorus sometimes in the middle of the night, I can feel you again, but I just miss you. I just wish you were a better man. And I know why we had to say goodbye like the back of my hand, and I just miss you, and I just wish you were a better man. And then the outro, we might still be in love if you were a better man. A better man. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's a better man song for you. Um, I really, I do love this song. I think it's like super meaningful, and it definitely is in this like emotional perspective of someone who's been in essentially like a narcissistic abusive relationship an emotionally abusive relationship or a relationship with a toxic person it's um this battle um 
that you go through of like thinking of the good memories but then knowing the reasons why you guys didn't work out and this you know you think this person could have been a better man but they're not like it's just up you know you're going back and forth all over the place um but then you leave and you know it's the right choice and eventually you get stronger and stronger and stronger and you surround yourself with good people people that care about you people that respect you thank you for watching subscribe to my channel and i will see you again very soon